five on your health and sudden hair loss for people in their teens and 20s. New research shows that those bald patches you see could be linked to COVID-19. Here to explain is Dr. Todd Eller and Chief of Infectious Diseases at South Shore Health. Dr. T, I, I, I thought by now we would have discussed every possible symptom of COVID-19, but hair loss? That's a new one. What's the connection? Right, Eddie, good to see you. You know, what? this is from a study that was just published in JAMA Dermatology, and it was a Korean CDC that looked at about 250,000 patients with COVID over a one-year period, those that got infected, with 250,000 that didn't get infected. And what they showed is, was there was a doubling of the risk of a condition called alopecia areata, which is an autoimmune form of hair loss. It can come out as round patches, and what that means is antibodies target the hair follicle, which is part of the shaft. You can think of it as a lock and a generator. It's the right. part of the hair that creates new hair and holds on to hair. So if that is targeted, yeah. then you can lose hair. Yeah, yeah. So, so let's talk about the symptoms then. It is, I don't mean just hair loss, but is it, is it just hair loss or can, and I want to be specific, alopecia areata, right? Can it cause other health, health problems? Generally speaking, Eddie, alopecia areata is just targeted against the hair. Now I say just, but I wanna be very sensitive about this. Think about our hair, that can be part of our identity. If you lose your hair, imagine self-esteem. This can create a lot of psychological, you know, uh, trauma. Right. And, um, you know, one thing I do want to point out to the viewers is that it's common to lose hair after trauma, whether it's psychological or physical. Most of that is more generalized hair thinning. It goes by a fancy name. But usually in those cases, within the year, often within three to six months, the hair starts to grow yeah. back. Yeah. With alopecia areata, without treatment, you can you can lose that hair permanently, but there is some hope that we'll talk about soon. So, so Dr. T, if, if, if people notice any of these symptoms, what, what, what pointed questions, what specific questions could they ask their doctor to, to laser down, focus in on what they want to do? Absolutely, and you nailed it. There are providers that specialize in this, especially board certified dermatologists. The other thing is that there's a National Alopecia Areata Foundation, that's www.naaf.org, and they can be very helpful. One last thing I wanna point out. Yeah. A couple of years ago, a drug called baricitinib, which is, is, is a drug that quiets the immune system, was shown that in 50% of patients with alopecia areata, there was regrowth within one year oh, in really? about half of them. That is excellent. Oh, really? So hope is on the horizon. Ironically, baricitinib was also studied in bad COVID pneumonia and was shown to quiet the immune system and more people with severe COVID pneumonia were surviving. So, you know, talk to your dermatologist if you have any questions. Yeah, there's some encouragement in there. Dr. T, thanks a lot. Great to see you. You too.